Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. Now today what we're gonna do is I'm just gonna show you how to win with the queen against the rook. Now this is very simple I promise to you um, but you just have to follow two steps. Now the first step is to get the king and the rook uh, on the last rank or in the corner and then the second step is to get into this position with black to move. Now what is the point of this position? The point is that the rook can't stay close to the king. It just has to move somewhere else. For example, uh, the rook can't go here because we just take it. Um, the rook can't go here because uh, we have mate here. And that means that the rook is gonna have to go somewhere else and then we're gonna get that rook with a couple of checks. Uh, so, okay, let's just get uh, to the first step here. I can just tell you all the steps how to get the king into the corner because, well, there aren't any like steps to learn. You just have to know that you have to uh, keep coming closer with your king and also with your queen. Uh, gives, give these kinds of checks uh, which will make the opponent's king and the rook uh, go way back. Uh, so here, for example, uh, you can start with a check here. The only move is um, king to d6 and you just move closer. So what is he gonna do? He can't move uh, anywhere with the king, he has to protect uh, the rook. If he moves the rook here, well you just do the same thing. If he goes, I don't know where, uh, to e7 for example, you can give a check here. Uh, he has to go here, you go here. And you get the point. Uh, it's not that hard. Uh, it's pretty simple to get the king uh, on the last rank. And I really recommend you to try this over the board at home uh, because it really helps, you know. Because when you're playing a real game, you probably have a couple of seconds left and you really do not want to spend all your seconds on figuring out how to just get the king into the last rank or into the corner. So the second step is to get into this position. He really doesn't have a chance to avoid this position. So we said that here black has to be on move. So if it's our move, we can get our opponent the move by the queen triangulation. So you've probably heard of the king triangulation, but you can do it also with the queen here. And you do it here. So you make a check. He can't go here because it's just checkmate. Uh, he has to move, uh, well, here or here, it doesn't really matter. Uh, you go here and when he moves there you just go here and it's his move pretty simple and pretty beautiful so like we said uh, he can't uh, keep the rook uh, close enough to his king he also can't move the king there because um, I believe we can give him a check here he blocks another check here mm, here he can't go here because it's mate yeah, that's right, uh, he has to go here, check, and we pick up the rook. So that's the reason he can't uh, move the king, he has to move the rook. And the most logical looks, uh, for example, something like this, putting the rook um, on a light square because your king is on the dark square, but it really doesn't matter because we're just going to get this rook or make the king in a couple of moves. Well, here you just need a couple of seconds probably to figure out uh, with which checks you can get the rook um, but I believe this should be fine uh, check here, he has to go here mm. and now and now a check here okay he can't go here of course because uh, it's made here or here uh, if he goes back here this check should be fine because if he goes there it's made uh, if he goes there, uh, we get the rook. Uh, and if he goes there, we make a check here and then again, he can't go here. It's mate. He has to go here and we pick up the rook. Or here and we pick up the rook this way. So, yeah, I think the maybe the most complicated thing here is to calculate which uh, checks you have to give to then pick up the rook. Um, if he goes to a dark square, it's even easier, I guess, so, yeah, but it's not that hard, as you saw, um, so you just have to remember that this position is crucial for you, it's called the fielder position, and, yeah, I mean, it's really not that hard to remember, 
So guys, I hope this was useful for you. If it was, please share the video, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video.